right, in this video, this is the Reddit RSS component. And with this component, you can take the post from any subreddit. For example, here are custom, uh, here are the, I don't know, I think it's 15 of them that I have here. You can add more or take some away. Uh, let me show you some of the main features here. There's a lot going on. I can actually cycle to another subreddit that I've added. Here is Tasker, and if I come over here to Tasker, it's going to pull these posts here and it actually takes away the ones that are ad. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And as you can see over here, there are no thumbnails. Let me come over to one more here. Cinema 4D. I've uh, gotten into graphic design a little bit or motion graphic design or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, uh, there's quite a few thumbnails here on this and it's, it's pretty accurate. I have found through testing, sometimes things do not line up perfectly and either I need to refresh. You can press that button right there or I may need to refresh it over here. And yeah, with the refresh here, things do seem to be lining up a little bit better with the post. So yeah, a lot going on. And not only that, let me just click on one of these. Let's click on uh, my first Cinema 4D project, Sand Island. If you tap the image, guess what this will do? It'll open up that post. Pretty freaking cool, right? And I have these three subreddits on the component, but you can add more. Now, this is not going to be a full-fledged tutorial because, like I said, there's a lot going on, but I do want to show you some of the basics of uh, setting it up and, you know, applying your look to it. So this is going to be called the Reddit RSS component. You can find this from my free components folder. And if we head on over to globals, now if I come to this URL list global, this is where you want to add the URLs for whatever subreddits you want to monitor. And for each URL at the end, like this is the Tasker one, I'm doing the double hashtag with Tasker just so I can give it a description. And I have all three of those in there. Here is the Cinema 4D, and here is the one for custom. And really to get these RSS feeds, I'm typing in the URL for the subreddit, and then I'm doing a slash dot RSS. So that's what gives me these names. Now let me go ahead and talk to you about another list global and that is going to be switch and I think I just passed it. No, here it is, switch. For switch, these are just going to be some text items and the reason why I'm doing this is just so I can have a way to change the images up here. But uh, for that list global, if you add a URL, make sure you come and put that name of that subreddit here and it is important to keep the names here in the same order as that original URL list global. And not only that, you want to go ahead and add an image as a global. That way, when you cycle through, you can see that image up here. Name that image the same as whatever you put inside of this switch. Now, you don't even really need this count RSS count thing. Don't even worry about it. But pick size will make all the pictures bigger or smaller. Horizontal padding will slide the text over and as you slide the text over it should wrap the text good up to whatever max lines you have. Max lines is right down here. We can set our max lines to one and we're only going to see one line but somewhere around three is probably pretty good. As you can see some of these do take up more lines. So let me bump that horizontal padding back on down. I like it to be a little bit closer to the image. Not at zero though, maybe somewhere around 20. Uh, for no image, that's this little red circle with the slash through it. You can add your own image there and it will update uh, all of these pieces that don't have an image in the particular post. Don't worry about that global, don't mess with it. Um, you'll notice that I have two colors here, the color for the title and then a color for the post. So you can change those colors there. Change your font, that'll apply to everything. Font size, you can make it bigger. And then I have uh, both of these pieces, both of these text items. I think I do have them inside of one text item and I'm making the size of the posted, whoever posted it, I make it like 75% of the original text size. Container height, you can make the containers taller. Be careful when you do that. Obviously things can get a little bit out of sync, but if I make it somewhere around there, you can squeeze them in closer, but I had it somewhere around 80. And I think that is all the globals. Now, if you want to add or take away things, this is how quick you can do this. Inside of the component, go to stack group, go to post, and uh, what you can do is you can just delete all these and guess what I'm using to get these posts very, very, very quickly. Uh, if you've been following the calendar series, you bet I'm using the SI module index. So feel free to dive into this thing and you know, add more, take them away. Uh, depending on what device you're using, you probably could fit more or less. 
but as I'm just sitting here blabbering on, I'm just deleting all of them and I'm leaving just the first one. The first one is all you really need. And then when you take this thing and you copy and paste, it's going to automatically sync up with the post. So uh, yeah, this is uh, probably going to become my favorite component, especially with G plus going away. Um, Reddit's definitely going to be, uh, in my opinion, probably the place we go to for custom stuff, or uh, I'm sure you're a member of many subreddits. So I hope you enjoy this one. Pick it up from my free components folder. And if something's broke or if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.